Henry, which is right here. Like this. Summerbridge is a transition point for students entering the new community college. Day one, I'm excited. I have high anticipation of this place, and I'm ready to tackle it. Whatever I have. I think of it as a soft landing or entry into college. It's a time when they really shift their mindset from where they're coming from. I'm honored to welcome you to the opening convocation of the new community college of the City University of New York. For a lot of our students, they're the first in their families to go to college. I'm proud of you because it really does take a lot of courage to be the first to do something. So there's a whole new vocabulary and most cultural capital, so to say, that they need to learn before coming in to help them be successful. How do you know if a paragraph is too long or if you need to cut something in a paragraph? Students don't come into college and all of a sudden flip a switch and now we're college students. The Summer Bridge program, it's a chance for them to get out of the what we call the 13th grade mentality and get used to college and college work. That looks really cool. I like this. And it's also a lot about building community and building a network. We're making it. We're making it right now. Sort of an informal space for students and faculty and staff to get to know each other before the actual pressures of the academic semesters begin. Traditionally, when students start college and they feel alone and they may, sometimes they feel alienated. What are some challenges you all are facing when it comes to your elevator pitches? The students at the New Community College really have an advantage. In the first year, students will be in learning communities. They'll be in classes of 25 with an instructional team of faculty members, student success advocates, peer mentors, and librarians. By getting a sense of knowing the person like that, that's how you can start to relate. And so they all work together, and this really models the professional environment where you have a group of colleagues, co-workers, that work together to achieve a common goal. We wanted to bring in an aspect of the experiential and field-based learning that we incorporate into the academic semesters and introduce that in Summer Bridge. We find out how much they make, how many people come in daily. So a central theme of Summer Bridge was taking a place in New York City exploring it as a group and as a team, and then coming back and sharing that information with their classmates. Our driving question was, how are New Yorkers shaped by the city and how do we shape the city? Look, we're in the middle of Beaver and Broadway, which is right here, we're trying to get here. So as a culminating project, they've put together a study of an area in Manhattan, and they visited that area, and they all they looked at it through five different lenses. Armani. The lenses were environment, economy, population, demographics, um, arts and culture, and English, and history. So really to understand that when you look at something, you're not just looking at it superficially, there's lots of different layers, and that's um, also life. Wait, in what, in what column? The A column? We had what we called a condensed city seminar. So students went to a reading writing session, a qualitative reasoning session, and a critical issue session. Introductions, interviews, meetings, networking. And they also went to a student success seminar and group workspace daily. So we mirrored their fall schedule. The one train, the two train, the A, the D, and it's another one that stopped over there. One of the things that we're doing is asset mapping, where they really start to understand all of the different resources within their community that are at their fingertips that they may not know of. Part of our goals was to get students to start looking at themselves as learners differently and to look at the city differently as well. Washington Heights, yeah. also known as Quayda Heights, um, the population and not only of Dominicans and Puerto Ricans, like people so... A lot of the places students told me they, they hadn't visited before. In 30 years, how it's changed, it's just become such a rich area. Or if they'd visited before, they never really looked around them. So it was to get them comfortable with themselves as New Yorkers and themselves as college students as well. And then later on, like a couple weeks later, they finally found a spot for it in Bowling Green. I think we finished on a high note looking at all of the wonderful presentations that, that the students have put together. I want them to start confident that they can do this and that it's not this otherness that our college is you know, for them and they can't be successful here.